Hello, in this video we're going to show you how to run your Cocos 2DX project in Cocos Studio aka how to import it into Cocos Studio. First of all make sure you created your project with Cocos 2DX version 3.7 or newer because that is the one that actually creates a Cocos, I mean an Android Studio project. If you're used to Cocos 2DX you will have, you will know that in previous versions this folder wasn't there so that is the reason why you need version 3.7 or newer the other thing is when you compile it make sure you compile it like this so you do cd to your project directory as normal but for the compilation you do cocos compile dash p android as you would usually but after that you put dash dash android dash studio click enter and this compiles your project because Android Studio as of now doesn't compile it it's just a way of really just running your project that's all it does so you still need to compile it outside of the studio and then just run it via the studio I had already built it before this video so that's the reason it only took a few seconds if it uh, seems to be taking ages just be patient because it can take a while so it's going to minimize that. So to import a project is really simple. It's going to Android Studio. I've got the latest version that is out at the moment. Go on open an existing Android Studio project. And then from here you navigate to wherever your project is located. Go to proj.android.studio. Click choose. So this will just build the Android Studio, but that's just building the Android part, not the Cocos part. That's the reason we need to build it ourselves. Let's sort this out, I don't know what the hell just happened there. And now, to run it, we simply click the play button. So but before we do that, let's just go to project. This is what we have in Android Studio. So what we can do is just click run. And we, before I do that, I'm just gonna show you how I'm going to show you that it's running. I've got QuickTime open, which is showing my iPad screen, and I've got the camera open, which is showing my Android device. Let's just focus in on a different part. As you can see, my Android device is plugged in. You need to make sure your Android device is plugged in. Let's just focus back onto the screen. So now, let's just click the play button. So we're just okay. So what we gotta do is choose our device. You can launch it in a simulator, but we've got a device is a lot faster, so I'm just gonna click A OK. Now if we just wait a few seconds, it will run our project on our device. So there you go, it's run our project. Let's just refocus and it's that simple. So if I were to make a change in the code. I would have to make sure that I run this compilation code again. So that's every time you make any sort of change to your project, run this compilation code. So that's just something to bear in mind. So you're ready to start developing using Android Studio. I'm sure the support for Android Studio will improve with Cocos 2DX. At the moment, you can't edit your classes within Android Studio, but if you are adamant of doing it in Android Studio, it's not, it's not that it's a bad idea, it's just you can't really do it at the moment, but if you really do want to, just go to File, New, Import Project, go to your project, go to, do, 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 do. I think that's not the one I want, you want to go, sorry, go to Open, go to Desktop, go to your folder but just select the actual project folder not the Android Studio just the project folder click choose just open it in a new window select project if you just drop this down we have all our folders from our project studio you can't actually run the project from here so you would actually still need to use the other window that we have that we can run the project within but from here you can actually use the really good IDE of Android Studio and edit files so if I go to the classes go to hello world scene so I can modify this so let's just actually do a quick modification 
So I'm gonna do it. I'm gonna change the font size to something ridiculous, like 189. Click save. I need to compile it. Remember that is crucial. So if I just do that. compile so I'll just wait for that to compile and once that's done we're ready to run the project on our device so that has successfully built but like I said you need to just switch window click the run button let's just scroll over so you can see the different in font size still waiting for it to run oh there we go click OK and just a few more seconds and we'll have our project loaded There you go, <laughs> the font is ridiculously big, but that was just to show you how to actually make some changes to your code and compile it and then run your project. So just to recap, you need to compile your project in the terminal or command prompt. Always, though this video is run on a Mac, you can do it on Windows, the process is essentially the same. Then you import your project or you open it, and then once you've done that, you can just run it. But if you want to use an edit code, within Android Studio for your classes then you go to you you just open up your entire project folder and then you can switch between windows like so if you have any questions feel free to post them on sonarlearning.co.uk forward slash question.php please rate comment and subscribe and it does really help keep the content free as more features are added to Android Studio and Cocos 2DX then we will create more videos so stay tuned for them and as usual thank you for watching and i hope you have an amazing day